field be here, probably. I walked to him. This morning. And Marty is here this morning. And Erwin will be in. Erwin. I just have to. Oh, you move my bed. But you usually sit over there. Your turn is sitting here. Well, whatever. I'm. I, you, just arbitrarily grab my bag and move it. Where are you? Sound dollar. No? Sound dollar. Oh no. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Well, has she hasn't been here? At least the one. Who... No, has she sick? What's the number? Let me come to the cook. One coffee coming up. What? Yeah, I think one coffee. I am mighty. I need like a lot. You'll take him home today. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going today for another PCR? Uh, I may not. Why not? You have to have it for the plane. First of all, number one, Israel is currently changing its uh, medical guidelines. <laughs> As of Thursday, all you will need is a rapid test within 24 hours to get in. So you'll go tomorrow. So wait, 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 I got it better. If you've tested positive and you're arriving after eight days, they consider you positive and you don't even need a test at all. I mean, they consider you negative. No. So you're going to try and rely on last? No, time. not necessarily. I, I probably test. will do a rapid test tomorrow afternoon. Okay. So that you should be much later. Yeah. And when are you coming uh, back? After Shavuos. Oh, so, you're, so you're not going to miss uh, the change. What change? We only have 19 more doctors. Yes, I know. We're going to. Then, but what happens? Then you got to go to another volume. Really? Don't you? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we, I would assume we're going to continue learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I got to do the same thing. Okay. And in this too, I've got to bring. I thought I would just you need to bring one. Get it there. Yeah. I have it already. Okay. I have it because okay, well, it was just a previous kind of cycle. I had to buy it while I was there. Uh, oh, so you already have everything because you did this last time. Okay. It, 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 this is it no, it's easy. my second. It's only it my doesn't second. Get easy. I know that. Unless you. But I. Know but I, but the question I'm is, if you. I'm there. And depending on where I am, if I'm <clears throat> if I'm staying at my son's, uh -huh. then I have a a shear that I normally attend okay. when I'm staying by him. Okay. Okay. We go. We go. I go Davin, and I go right into a shear just like we do. Very good. Okay, you but that's him? what? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's stop it. Do your dead. <laughs> Happens to be that the shear is given in English too. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I thought you were going to say, you know, you can't <laughs> with Jehim, it's in Hebrew. Naftali occasionally sits in and uh, gives it if the regular Magid shear is absent. Uh, that's my nephew. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's go through our learning sponsors Sue and Arnie Garalik in memory of Malka Perman and Philip Mann. And Yisrael David Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch and Beryl Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch and Yosef Meir Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Kenya Rivka Proraz and Abad Harav Tzvi Hirsch, and memory of family murdered in the Holocaust, Arav Tzvi Hirsch Ben Shlomo Yaakov, Sarah Badafayim, Yisrael David Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, 
Ephraim ben Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Adiyah bat Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Miriam bat Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Peso bat Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Shalom ben Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Shlomo Yaakov ben Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Peresh Shmur ben Harav Tzvi Hirsh, Children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren of Toby Paris, Sarah Tova, but Yisrael Dove in her memory. Charlie Gelfenstein and Sam Levine in memory of Ramona Levine, Rachel Mata, but Asher. Friends of Nina Monester, Nachama Asna, but Yitzchak Ahara. Many friends of Stephen Vigdor, Lezecha Nishmat, Simcha Melech, but Mayor Halevi. Friends of Marcy Kurtz in memory of her great niece, Leah Bracha. A month of learning by Lydia and Abe Prouse's many friends in honor of their 50th anniversary. David and Mendel Cheslow in memory of his father, Moshe ben Ruven Mordechai. Susan and Ruven Podolsky in memory of her father, Simcha Bunim ben Yeshua. Haran and Mel Haller in memory of her father, Yosef Eliezer ben Svi Hirsch. Susan and Ruven Podolsky in memory of her mother, Chaya Bad Avraham Dov. Beatrice Peiser in memory of her father, Yisachadov ben Shmuel. <clears throat> we have a week of learning by Jack Gilman in memory of his brother, Zev Yosef ben Yitzchak, by Sharon and Michael Glass in memory of her mother, Chaya Bad Avram Baruch, Gail and Leslie Kaplan in memory of her mother, Musha Sprinska Bad Yosef Chaim Bechava, by Judith Iger in memory of her son, Ansha Yitzchak ben Aharon, by Michael and Judith Paretsky in memory of his mother, Rachel Bat Avram. Today is the 10th, yes. right? And we do not have actually any other uh, days of learning today. Maybe Shamath have an Aliyah, Crank of the Field of the Yeshua Shamath Aliyah, the Chobane Israel, good Amen. Okay. Right. Okay. So let me just call me up. <clears throat> okay. All right. So those uh, Michael pointed out to me, I told him I didn't have a chance to read it. But if you're interested, the blog called Talmudology. Okay. Is very, very worthwhile. But, and it had a specific reference Yesterday's uh, Talmudology blog uh, had a reference to the whole question of uh, holding back because of a class and becoming, and becoming impotent. Not impotent, sterile. Sterile, okay. <clears throat> so the point is, uh, he goes into, sorry, it happens to be written by a doctor out of Baltimore. I think he's a urologist. Uh, that I don't know what his specialty was. I got a brother-in-law or somebody that knows him personally, but basically that is, uh, yeah, it's a piece, as I said, I'll try, I'm gonna to try to get to it today. Part of it, continuing. it wouldn't surprise me, right? That's because he was holding back. But I don't know what the stringing the guy to the pillar out. Okay, that was a good, that's a valid question. As we go into the Gemara, because out of the uh, whole class, he's the only one. They hang him upside down. Ah. So how does that help? Takes pressure off the drug state. Okay. All right. That that was the only way I could figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh -huh. whatever it is, whatever All right, he did. So we'll go. Because so. he's the one, only one in the whole shear who remained uh, open. <laughs> right. So we're going to pick up. We'll see that in a moment. Uh, okay. Could you tell us exactly what you could be doing? Yeah. Okay. On the bottom of Samach Gimel, Amud Beis, the last line, right? That's where we stopped, right? We had talked right. about the Chabarim, the Persian Zoroastrian priests, right? We went into that detail. I gave you a very quick reference to the book of Ben Sira, okay? We were not going to go into that, although those are both uh, historically and uh, <clears throat> and in regards to study of uh, the canonization of the scripture. Those are both, the Ben Sirus episode is uh, very significant. Okay, 
That will be for another shear. Okay? So we start off that last line, Tanu Rabbanan. <coughs> right? That's the Pasuk. All right? So now we pick up on today's daf, right? Which is Samech Dawit. That the Shekhinah does not rest unless there is a, what we'll call for the moment, a significant number. Okay, and it spells out the significant number in plural, 2,000 and... Uh, 22, 22, 22. Right, two, well, 22, it says 2,000 and... 210. And 210,000, so it's a total of 22,000, right? Haresha yu Yisrael shnei alafim shnei revavot chaser echad. Were it such, I'm going to say it, that uh, in that number there was one missing, all right? The implication might be that the Shekhinah would not be resting on them. And that particular person was not fulfilling the mitzvah of Piria Revivia, right? Okay? All right? That it would not, therefore, we would not find this example of the Shekhinah resting on Israel. Right? Remember, we came back earlier and we said the nations are blessed because Israel, the nation, and Puranut also comes at times because of Israel to, on the nations to remind them to fulfill, right, mitzvah. Now, Abba Hanan, Amar Mishum Rabbi Eliezer. What did he say? Chayav mita. <coughs> that person is, right? Chayav mita. <coughs> what do we mean by that? On what basis? Shana Amar Ubanim lo hayu lahem. And it said they did not have sons, referring to Nadav and the Vihu. Okay, right, namely, Ha, Hayulahem Banim Lometu. What? Okay, here this seems to imply that if they had sons, they wouldn't have died. Achirim Omrim, says others, Goreim Lishchina Shatistalek Mi Israel. That's what causes the Shechina to separate to not to to remain aloof i use oh, that word right. okay from the jewish people so going on bisman at the time when you have progeny after you shina shore the shina will will presence divine presence will rest ein zarecha acharecha right al mi shore if, the, if you do not have progeny, on what does the divine presence uh, rest? Al ha'etzim va'al ha'avanim. Does it rest on rocks and on, on uh, or stones, it. right? It's Trees, it. wood, things like that. Okay, so that's how that Gemara ends. Matnitin. Okay, when we get now to our new Mishnah. <coughs> Okay, we're really still dealing with uh, the issue of of uh, the mitzvah of, of uh, Perion Rivia. Okay, so keeping this in mind, uh, as we go into the next Mishnah, we're going to deal with uh, an ex attempts to prove part of the Mishnah from a biblical sources as well. Okay, so the Mishnah starts. Nasa isha v'shaha ima eseshanim. If a person married a woman and remained with her for 10 years, v'lo yalda, and they had not given birth. I'm using the word they had not produced a child. What it say? I know it doesn't say that. Okay. All right. The implication, the text says, and she has not she given not. birth. Oh, but, I know, but I want to say they, they because the Gemara ultimately is going to have to deal. Okay, so what happens? A no rashai levatel, right? He does not have permission, the husband, to neglect the mitzvah of Perurv. Right? Okay, Girsha. No, that's the next statement. Yeah, a no rashai levatel. Right? Boom. From the mitzvah of Perur and Rivia. 
Okay, so we continue now. Gersha, he can divorce her. Muteret lina se lachir. He's then permitted to marry another woman. No. Yeah. And she is permitted, she is permitted to, to marry. Remarry. We do not blame her. Right, right. She is permitted to remarry. Muteret lina se lachir. She's permitted to remarry another man. But the implication is he also. Well, right? the previous, he has the choice. He can get a second Well, we'll wife. see. We'll he get to that, right? Varashai, Hashemi, Lishotima, Asura, Shani. Okay. And if she marries Mr. Number Two, okay, can remain with him for 10 years. Ve'im Hipila, says our Mishnah. Okay. And if she has a miscarriage, what happens? When do you start counting the 10 years? Okay, you start the count from the time of the miscarriage. Okay. Okay, so the Gemara is simply talked, right? The Mishnah simply talked about her status. Okay, namely, she has, if, if she was divorced by the first husband, she may go ahead and marry a second husband. He can stay with her 10 years again. But the implication clearly seems to be it may not necessarily be her, I'm going to use the word in quotes, fault that she has not given birth. You okay. don't make an assumption that she's in a, an island. We'll get to that, right. Gemara, now a new Gemara. We're going to get to all of these issues and we're going to get to a more difficult issue, which is what about Money. examples of, of other situations and other persons? Okay. Gemara, Tanu Rabbanan says this Brighta. Nasa Isha Vishaha Ima Esashanim. Our Brighta seems to have the similar language to our Mishnah, that he married her and remained with her for 10 years. Velo Yelda, and she has not given birth. Our brighter goes on, Yotzi v'yitain ketuba. He must put her out, in other words, divorce her, and give her her ketuba. <coughs> Shema lo zacha libanot mimena. Now this brighter notice now takes a little different view. And it looks at bases a reflection of him. Maybe he doesn't merit having a household with her or through her, okay? Even though we have no clear source of proof, there is a hint, so to speak, to this. Why? We have a text, right? Because it says after 10 years, Avram was in the land of Canaan. What did he do? Right? The Lamedcha Shein Yeshivat Chutzla Aretz Ole Lo Min Haminyan. Okay. That the implication seems to be that living out there, he was not able to properly conceive with her. You don't count the years. Chutz right. So that's not that's not counted. That would be interesting for those men as out. For us, right. whether you have to get right. divorced. Okay, so what happens? It doesn't count those years. So if he lived 10 years with Sarah outside of Eretz Yisrael, the implication is it does not apply those 10 years. Okay? Therefore, we also learn the following. If he is sick, or she is sick. Or both of them are imprisoned for some reason. Okay. In those occasions, okay, that's also not counted. All right. They didn't have uh, visitation privileges. So Rava suggests the following. Our text tried to base it on Avraham. Is that a valid source? Right? Lelef mi 
Let us learn him from Yitzchak. Dichtiv vayhi Yitzchak ben Abayim shana bekachto et Rivka v'gomer that he was 40 years old when he married her. Uktiv, and after that it's written, v'yitzchak ben shishim shana beledet otam, and that he was 60, okay, when they were born. So what happens? Rav Nachman responds, amar le yitzchak akur haya. Yitzchak was infertile, okay? No. All right. That was one translation, okay? Uh, I assume that Art Scroll has a different translation. I don't know, I have to look in a minute. Okay. What are we talking about? Right. Sterile. Is Sterile, all right. Same thing. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> all right. So what happens? Ihachi. If that's the case, is the Gemara Avram Nami Akur <clears throat> Maybe Avram also. <clears throat> in that situation. Look at the Rabbi Chia. But maybe then we would say it was the way considered as a question or a problem as Rabbi Chia Bar Abba says. The Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Lama Nimnu Shnotav Yishmael. Why was there a specific uh, list? Uh, designation of the number of years, the age of Yishmael. <clears throat> In order to allow us to determine the age of Yaakov. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, somebody else. Yitzchak Avinu Akur Haya. That Yitzchak again, he suggests that he was sterile or infertile. Shinamar Vieta Yitzchak Lashem the Nochach Ishto. Okay, notice that the Pasuk says clearly Lashem Le Nochach Ishto. Okay, Al Ishto Lo Neamar on his wife, about his wife, it doesn't say. El Le Nochach. Okay, but that's the language. Milamed Sheshnehem Akurim Hayam. Okay, in other words, it's as okay. if he prayed, like prayed, uh, I wouldn't use the word opposite. <coughs> aside, from. aside from in conjunction with, <coughs> I think might be a nice, uh, better explanation. <coughs> in conjunction with his way. And that way you could imply if he did it, it could mean both, right? Okay. Ihachi via atarlo when he pleaded or inquired, what via atarla hem? It should have said, right? Inquiry for them. Me bayale. That's what should have said. Lefisha I know dome tfilat sadik ben sadik, but tfilat sadik ben rasha. That the prayer <coughs> of someone who was a righteous person, the son of a righteous person, namely, namely Yitzchak, does not compare to the prayer of a righteous person, the progeny of a wicked person, and that would be, right, that her father is Lavan, and therefore that was the problem, right? Okay. That's interesting. I had Betuel first also, okay? But I have another translation, another explanation here that made it refer to Lavan and not to Betua. Okay, not that he was actually her father. We know that Betua was the actual father, but he was the one who, uh, yeah, okay, took on the role of the father in that case. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak says, Rabbi Yitzchak, Mipnei mahayu avotenu akui. What was the reasons, asks Rabbi Yitzchak, that our ancestors' so many of our fathers were, difficulty. had difficulty giving birth? Because the Kaddish Baruch Hu desires, I'm using that translation, the prayers of the righteous. 
אמר רבי יצחק, למה נמשלה תפילתן של צדיקים כאתר? Why is it then that the prayer of righteous are, is compared to a pitchfork? Ma atar ze mahafech hatvua mimakom lamakom, the same way a pitchfork allows one to transfer grain or produce from one place to another, right? Kach tfilatan shel tzadikim mahafechet midotav shel akadosh baruchu mimidat ragzanut lamidat rachmanut. Interesting. Thus, the prayers of the righteous transition the uh, aspects, the attributes of the Kaddish Baruch Hu from Rag Zanut, from uh, however we want to translate Rag Zanut, uh, strictness to Rachmanut to mercy. Okay, reminds us all of the whole story about the Kisei. One is uh, Rachamim, one is Din. That kind of thing. Okay. Okay. Am I Rabbi Am? I guess. I guess since I don't come from New York, I don't get. Guru. Okay. Am I Rabbi Am? He says Rabbi Ami Avraham. Besara tum tamin hayu. Okay, we get a different view that they were both individuals whose genitalia were hidden, so to speak. Shneamar habitu el tsur chotzvatam, right? The al makevat bor nokratam. Examine the uh, source, so to speak. Uktiv, and then it's written. Vehebitu el Avraham avichem, ve el Sarah techolel elchem. Right, and then look at Avram and Sarah. All right, who we hope will be giving birth. Amar Rav Nachman says Rav Nachman Amar Raba Bar Avuha. The following: Sarah imenu ilonit haita. So here he gives a different explanation. He claiming that Sarah was an ilonit. Shneamar vatehi sarai akara ein lavlad. Okay, so implying that it says that she did not have any progeny. Why? Afilu beit vlad ein. She did not even have a womb. Okay. Amar Rav Yehuda bereid the Rav Shmuel bar Shila mishmei the Rav. What did he say? Lo shanu ela bedorot harishoni. Okay. <coughs> so what is he? <coughs> Sorry, he's presenting this idea. Okay, that this idea of the 10 years was only presented in a time and was an explanation only in a, for earlier generations at a time when their lifespan was extensive, okay, right? But in later generations, when the lifespan was less extensive, you don't give that much time. Instead, what does he suggest? Okay, you give Shteshanim Umechza two and a half years, or what's equal to three possible pregnancies. Okay. All right. Now, Rabba Amar Rav Nachman says as follows: Shalosh Shanim Keneged Shalosh Pekidot. The fact that we suggest that it's approximately three years. He's, he's saying now thirty-six months. He's right. Saying, he's giving more. To, he says the fact that we say three years as opposed to two and a half years, right? What? It's rem reminiscent of the idea of three remembrances. What are the remembrances? Vahashem pakad et Sarah, right, Mel? Yeah. All right, what else can you remember, Hashem? Uh, right? Rachel. Rachel and uh, Leah, Hannah. Okay, 
All right, so the first one is right. So what happened? So it's remembrance of these three examples where the Shem, where the, where uh, Torah, where text, Tainus tells us. Da'amar <clears throat> mar, the Rosh Hashanah, nifkadu Sara Rachel v'chan. Okay. <clears throat> right? One is the Torah reading, right? One is the half Torah, and I don't remember the other. Okay. Rachel's another part. Yeah. Amar Rabba, says Rabba. Litnahu, lahani klawi. Okay. Shall we, what do we learn then from these general principles? Michdei matnitin man taki. Okay, according to whom then can we say that our Mishnah was established, right? Rebbe. Normally we say it's from Rebbe. Vahabi yamei David im uchne. Is it possible that during the lifetime of David, okay, that the people's, uh, the length of their years was limited? Dichtiv, because it's written. Yamei shnotenu bahem shivim shana. That the length of our lives says it's only gets 70 years, right? So does that mean that it's... And Rebbe is his great-great-grandson. <coughs> True. The so, high could be. Could so be. obviously he hold, doesn't hold from the 30 or 36 months. We'll before. see. Right. The high, right? Shema lo zacha libanot mimena. But what about the fact <clears throat> that it says that maybe the one view was that he didn't merit having children from Vadilma ihi de lo zachia. And maybe it was she that didn't merit. Ihi kevan de lo mifkada apiria urivia lo mi ansha. Excuse me. And she, since she wasn't remembered or counted regarding the mitzvah of Peru or Vu, okay, is not punished. Neni, is that not the case? Vaha amru le rabbanan. But didn't the rabbi say, the rabbi Abba barzav to the following? Nasiv itita va'olid bene, go and uh, marry and produce progeny, sons in particular. Va'amar laho izakai, and he said to them, If I am worthy, havuli mikamaita, I would have had them earlier. In other words, the implication is maybe either he had no children or maybe he only had, had daughters. Okay. Hatam. There he was simply putting off. He had this destroyed. He yeah. was pushing right, them pushing them off. Right. The Rabbi Abba Bar Zavta, Iakar Mi Pirke the Rav Huna. This is why he's continuing it because of today's stuff. Okay, and the Talmudology that he be, had become uh, sterile or infertile because of the length of the lessons. Rav Gidl Iakarmi Purke de Rav Huna. Okay, you'd have think somebody would have spoken to Rav Huna already after all. Well, also, Rav Huna had a bunch of kids. So, <laughs> so Rav Gidl also became sterile, okay, in regards to Rav Huna's lessons. Rebbe Chalbo Iakarmi Purke de Rav Huna. And another one, all right? So, what happens? Rav Sheshit Iakarmi Purke de Rav Huna. Rav Sheshit also became impotent, all right, because of Rav Huna's lessons. Rav Achabayako Achdete Soschita, okay? All right, so what happened with Rav Achabayako? He was afflicted by an illness from refrain, from, by, because of refraining from urination. What did they do? Tal Yuha Ba'arza, the Bay Rav, they hung him from a pillar, a cedar. <clears throat> okay. In, uh, in the, I'm they gonna say the, the not inside the, uh, in the yeshiva, in the, in the, in the yeshiva, in the courtyard, right? Venafak mine kahutsa yarka. And there flowed out of him some substance. Green stuff. Okay, that was like a green leaf. 
Okay. What happened? Amar Rav Achav Bayako, right? Shitin Sabe Havina Vekuhu Iakur Gapirke de Ravhum. He says that there were 60, right? Elders, and they all became impotent as a result of the lessons of Rav Hu. Levar Ma'ana would accept for me the Kaime Benafshe. Right? Why? Because I maintained myself based on the following. Right? In other words, you got to go, you got to go. Right? <laughs> That's the point. Excuse me, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alter Stein, Alter Stein. Right? You would have thought somebody would have said something to Rav Huna, you know, at some point. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, they didn't know till later what the effect of was. course. It wasn't an immediate uh, consequence. Right? Okay, let's go on. Okay, we're good. All right. Now we're back to our Mishnah. Remember, we said that the Mishnah primarily focused on the woman and didn't really, the bright was the one that only then referred to the man. Okay, so what happens? Girsha muteret v'chul said if he divorced her, she was permitted then to marry a second husband. Okay, Shani, a second husband, and yes, Shlishi. A third husband, lo, no. Okay, why is that the case? Mat needin mani. Our Mishnah then is according to whom? Rebbe he, right? Normally we say it's from by Rebbe. The Tanya is taught as follows, right? The following example. Mala harishon umate. If they circumcised, right? The first. And he died. Shani, who made a second and died. Shlishi, lo tim o. Then the third child should not be circumcised. That tells us that Rebbe held that two, two times, examples a established a chazaka. Right. <clears throat> okay. Divrei Rebbe. Yeah. That was the view of Rebbe. Okay. What happens? We'll go on. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, Shlishi Timo, the third one does get uh, circumcised. Ravi'i Lo Timo, but the fourth one does not get, implying that Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel held you needed three occasions to establish a chazak. Okay? All right, what happens? Vahatanya Ipcha. But aren't we taught the opposite? Namely, hey, me, nai, who, achari, nata. There was a price, so they're taught the exact opposite. Right. Rebbe said three, and, and Rav Shimon right. said two. So who was the one who said the last? Right. In other words, which, is, which source is the latest source sure. to be able to tell us the correct practice, the right. correct idea? Okay. Tashma. Listen to the following brighter. The Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Abba Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Maaseh Ba Arba Achayot Betzipora. Okay, this was a, there was an incident with four sisters in the town in the city of, of Sepphoris. What happened? Shemala Rishona. The first sister had a child circumcised, umate. And the child died. Shnia, the second sister, had a child circumcised, umet, and that child died. Shlishit, <coughs> excuse me, the third sister had a uh, child, umet, circumcised, and died. Revi'it, bat lifne, rabban shimon ben gamliel. The fourth sister then came to Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Amarla, and he said to her, Al Timuli, don't circumcise. Vadilma, i atya shlishi. And per, but so the Gemara asks, and perhaps had the third come, 
Nami Hava Amala, what would he would also have said that to her? Im Kain, my Ashadute de Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. If that's the case, what is the testimony, okay, of Rabbi Chia Bar Abba? Vedilma Hakamash Malan, the Ach Chayot, Mechazkot, that perhaps his testimony comes to tell us that there is some sort of chazaka with these sisters. As that, compared to one woman having three right. different children at different times. This was three, three different uh, situations. Okay, three women of the same family. Right. Implying, does it imply that the family and has the some result. sort of a unfortunate status, chazaka? <clears throat> Amar Rava says, Rava, Hashta da Amat Achayot Mechazkot. Now that you said that these sisters have some status, Lo Yisa Adam Isha Lomi Mishpachet Mechafim. If that's the case, then I understand where it says that a man should not marry a woman from a family of epileptics. Velomi Mishpachet Metsuraim and not from a family who have uh, saras, right? Vohu de itchazek tzlata zimne. Okay, and he, namely Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, nevertheless based it on three times, right? That was his basis for chazak. Mai hava Allah. So what do we gather from this? Rav Yitzchak bar Yosef. When Rav Yitzchak bar Yosef came, Amar, and he said, Uvdahava kame de Rabbi Yochanan the Kanishta de Ma'o. There was an incident <clears throat> before Rabbi Yochanan in the synagogue of Ma'on. And when did that incident occur? Biyom hakipurim shechal yod it was a day when Yom Kippur and Shabbos coincide, right? Umala Rishona Umait. And they circumcised the first and died. Shnia Umait. And a second child and died. Shlishit, the third then comes. So we have to assume maybe again, it was three separate women from the same family as we saw. It, it was one woman before, with three um, before Yom Kippur with three children. That's three triplets. Seven. Triplets? Is that what you're saying? Triplets? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go back double check that, but I didn't think of that. Ushli sheet ba. Okay, and the third right. Lefanav Amar La. He said to her, Lachi Umoli, go and circumcise. Amar le Abai, and Abai says, Chaze, Ke'asi, the Kesharit Isura. If that's the case, isn't he permitting some sort of a prohibition? Visakanta, and he would be permitting something dangerous. Samach Allah Abai. But Abai relied on this. Va'azal, and he went, Nasba lechuma. Barta de Isi Bere de Rav Yitzchak. And he went and married a woman named Barta. Okay. I'm sorry, the woman was Choma. She was the daughter of Isi, the son of Rabbi Yitzchak, Bere de Rav Yehuda, the son of Rabbi Yehuda. What happens? Okay. De Nasba Rachva de Pompadita Ushri who had married somebody named Rachva from Pompadita, and he had died. <clears throat> Rav Yitzchak Berei de Rava, Bar Bar Chana Ushri. And prior to that, she had married a Rav Yitzchak, the son of Rava, Bar Bar Chana, and he had died. Okay, so what happened ultimately? Nasba, Vinasba, Abai married her, who right? Ushachiv, okay, and ultimately he died. He died. <clears throat> they called her the Black Widow, right? 
Amar Rava says Rava as follows: Umi ika da avid uvda kenafshe kihai. Is there really Rava says somebody who would do such a situation uh, that, that uh, for himself? In other words, didn't the baye, you know, uh, have enough seichel to realize if she had three previous husbands, two previous husbands, two husbands two that had died. Husbands. But so he's saying, didn't he think that two was a chazal? I mean, but that's not. That's the issue, the right. question. Okay. Vaha ihu da amar aben de samcha. But it was Abai himself who said that he was going to rely on right. Yitzchak. Sumka love bar sumka. But Yitzchak, the, the red, right? One doesn't rely. Right. Avin, yeshno bechazaka. A message from Avin, there can be a determination of status. Yitzchak sumcha, eno bechazaka. Yitzchak, the red, okay? We do not hold his statements to give us a basis. For a chazaka, va'od, and furthermore, emar de plige inyan mila, and I might say further that maybe they could argue about the issue of of uh, circumcision, benisuin mi pligi, but would one really argue about that in terms of a potential marriage? And yes, he says, vahatanya. But haven't we learned elsewhere in a brighter? Me saith the Rishon Umeit. If married a first husband and he died, the Shani Umeit, a second husband and he died, the Shlishi Lotinase. As regards to a third husband, don't marry. Divrei Rebbe. That's the view of Rebbe. So again, he was holding still mm -hmm. two examples as an Afro Chazak. The, right, Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, what does he say? Lishli she tinase, you can marry the third husband. The Ravi'i lo tinase, a fourth one don't marry. Bishlema gabe mila. Okay, yeah, it's understandable in regarding to the issue of mila. Ika mishpacha, the Rafe dama, that there can be a family who has. Uh, I'm about going to say, the well, thin blood, thin blood, okay, but what it implies is they have problems clotting. Right. Right. Okay, right? The kamit dama. And you have families that have thicker, thicker stronger. Ellen is suin my tama. But why would you, regarding marriage, why would you think? You would use, so to speak, the same criteria. Right. Why? Right. Right. Would right. Say two. <clears throat> Rav Mordechai, the Rav Ashi. Okay. So here we see a later generation. Hachi Amar Avimi, my Hagronia, Mishmei the Rav Huna. Okay. Maayan Goring. So Rav Mordechai is telling Rav Ashi. Rav Avimi, but my Hagronia. Okay, in the name of Rav Huna, suggests that the cause could be Mayan <coughs> Gore, that the woman has a, a this, her, her bodily spring. In other words, she has some sort of bodily condition that could very well be a, uh, a, a health deterrent to a husband. Okay. That would be one possibility. The Rav Ashi Amar, and Rav Ashi responded, Mazal Gore, maybe she just has bad luck and a bad constellation, you know, uh, all right. My Benayhu, what's the difference between their two views? Ika Benayhu, the Arisa Umit. The difference between them is if what somebody became engaged to that woman, and he dies because he would not have had relations with her. Okay. And so what do we say then? That that would certainly rule out, okay, if she if had a bodily she, condition. Bodily condition. So right. But be... it might still include the explanation of 
the Muslim. Right. Okay. Inami, or perhaps the Nafami Dikla Umit. Or maybe he just fell from a, uh, a tree, from a palm tree and died. Amale Rav Yosef Bere de Rava the Rabba. So <clears throat> Rav Yosef, the son of Rava, said to his father, By me name me Rav Yosef. I asked the question of Rav Yosef. Okay. Halacha Karebi. That the law is like Rebbe, right? Va'amali en. He said to me, yes. Halacha Karabin Shimon ben Gamliel. Is the law like Rabin Shimon ben Gamliel? Va'amali en. And he said to me, yes. There's one of them or the other. Right? He's either one or the other one. So he asks his father, right? Okay. Achuche achichbi. Is he mocking me? Is he making fun of me? Amarle lo. No, says Rav. He's not making fun of me. Satme, he. He was giving you a stam, a direct, a general answer. Upashitla. And he wanted to explain to you the following to understand. Nisuin, umalkiot, karebi. Okay, that in situations of marriage or flogging, okay. We follow the example of Rebbe. All right. The Gemara is going to pick up on this and shortly. And bring the Okay. Okay. Vestot Vishur Hamuad in the example of a women's period and in the example of a, right, a Shur Muad, a uh, ox Boring that ox. gores. <clears throat> Karaban Shimon ben Gamriel. There the Chazaka is three times. Like Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel. So now the Gemara spells it out for us. Nisuin hada amran. Marriage, as we've said. Malkiot, in regards to flogging. Ditznan, as we learn elsewhere in the Mishnah. Mi shelaka vishana. One who has been flogged vishana. And then they had to give him a second flogging. Okay. So he's, uh, I don't remember what they call it in, in legal calm, okay? But, uh, right, twice, right? What happens? Third time, right? Beitin consino to the kipa. The court then assigns him to a cell. Umachilino to seorim ad shehetehe krisa to nifkat. And they feed him only uh, barley until his stomach bursts. In other words, they <clears throat> he's an incorrigible situation. Okay, vestot ditznan. Okay, as we've learned, ein haisha, and we'll just go over a little bit. Right, kovat la veset ad shetivka ena shalosh palmin that a woman does not establish her period until she has um, determined it, let's use that way, for three times. I'm sorry, okay, and we also see that she does, does not become removed from that particular time period for a veset. Also, it has to be three times. We'll stop right there, where we'll pick up tomorrow on the example of the Shor Mu'ah. I just have one more question. I wanted to come back to with the Bayi and Baba. Yeah. It says, according to this, that Baba actually is the Bayi. And he didn't. A Bayi actually is Baba for 20 years. So I don't understand this. Unless it wasn't a Michael Shahoya. I don't understand. Oh, the, the fact the fact that he said he died, that Abaye died for after that marriage. Eventually, he died after the he marriage, died. but that doesn't but say Robert, when. Robert and he was died at the same age. And Abaye had lived in like twenty years. The house was rubber at the same Abaye death. Maybe that was the Masora that the Gemara had. Right. Ah. <sighs>
everybody have a good day. Have a good day, Ken.